My name is Cube, like a cube. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thomas Love here from beautiful Vancouver, British Columbia. And today we're gonna talk about these challenging times we are all faces when we're having technology versus old school. So that was the same point that was raised already when the Leica Q appeared because all the Leica M users were saying this is the way it's supposed to be, it's a manual thing, this is the art of photography, so on and so forth. And so we resist change. We tend to resist change because we are very used to what we're using and photography is one of the many things where we really resist change because it was born in a certain way with the film and all the settings needs to be set by experience, not by technology. But to a certain point, technology might be a very good help, hence the success of the Leica Q line. And so this is happening again, now that they released the Leica Q3, which has plenty of technology inside it, versus the Leica Q2, that was, in my humble opinion, the perfect balance in between the use given by experience, because you have all the manual settings, the f-aperture, the ISO, the shutter speed really at hand, you don't have to get mad with menu settings, so on and so forth, while the Lucky Q3, it adds many more features, such as phase detect and AF recognition and tracking that they got from the Panasonic L-Square Alliance, because Panasonic was the first in this alliance to develop phase detect, and so finally it got implemented in the Lucky Q3 first, and eventually also in the Leica SL3 that we will see arriving next year. But Leica, they are smart fellows, and so they are keep selling the Leica Q2, especially if we consider the latest version they released, there was the Disney version, that could be a very good thing if you want to travel the world, because thieves might not get that it's a Leica camera under there, but the Leica QE will be probably announced and released next year, as they did with the Leica ME following the Leica M9. And so we resist change. We want AF phase detect. We wanted it so badly because Sony developed it and implemented it very successfully and then enhanced it with the AF eye tracking, animal tracking, airplane tracking, and many other things that come in very handy for sport photographers and for wildlife photographers. But at a certain point, Nikon finally got it and did even better than that. So the latest software 4.0 in the Nikon Z9 also has auto capture and the pre-release settings up to three minutes. What does it mean? It means that it is making life much easier for wildlife photographers because up to now they had to install and to carry with them some kind of movement traps. While right now with that camera, the Z9, the auto capture is basically a trap inside the body because the moment you put it there pointing some particular entrance for wildlife or for sports or whatever you can set to start capturing and shooting either stills or videos when anything is moving or when anything is crossing a certain point of focus or when anything is crossing a certain distance or the three of them together and so this is making life way way easier for photographers and we discussed it already, we are not photographers anymore, we are basically just recording documentary videos and then we're taking the best out of it afterwards in post, so we don't have to struggle anymore with the production. And so the eternal challenge that was manual versus automatic shooting is now becoming AI versus experience. And so I prepared for you a few points that I want to discuss with you because Leica, they are very smart. They will be selling the Leica Q3, which is outperforming the Leica Q2 in every single aspect. It has a better sensor, better resolution, uh, phase detect, AF tracking, and more megapixels and three different size of shots if you want to shoot raw. And so it's outperforming the Leica Q2 in every aspect, but it is way too much on the automatic side for my opinion. And also Leica, if they're really announcing and releasing the Leica QE, they are in line with this thought because probably there are plenty of fellows out there that were able and 
they were convinced how switching and starting using a Leica Q or Q2 or Q2 monochrome instead of the Leica M because it's just same four factor, same size, same weight, but in addition to that you're having autofocusing, you have 4K recording and many other aspects that nowadays come in handy. And so they know that some, so many of us will stay stick to the Leica QE and will not need nor like to switch to the Leica Q3. So the very first point in my humble opinion is that with the Leica Q2 or equivalent, so doing old school photography the way it was intended to be, you don't spend much energy, you don't have to pay much attention to the camera while when you start using AI face detect recognition you have a zillion different settings that you have to pay attention to and this translates in being in the moment if you're shooting manually or with a kind of manual camera like I'm using right now while if you are using the AI the automation you will eventually miss the moment but you will be able to watch it later in post and so basically what we are saying is that with a camera like this guys you are fallible because we are humans we are fallible it might not be the best shoot ever but at least you have some pride when you take it because your experience suggests that you want to push the shutter button what settings to use while with ai it is less fallible i do understand a lot of pro photographers especially wildlife sports photographer will be using ai and all the automation and all the tricks that nowadays camera can offer but it also less fun and less rewarding so with that i hope you got some value out of this video if you did please remember to like it share it on social media subscribe to the channel so you won't miss the new videos to come and i guess i will see you later thank you bye bye